Just made your pain, baby. Now I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, let me get serious. What is up everybody? My name is Michael aka Major Payne and uh, you are watching my Let's Plat Strider series. Hope you all had a great 4th of July weekend. Mine was excellent. Uh, involves a lot of food, a lot of drinking, and a lot of blowing stuff up. That then says uh, America like beer, food, and explosive things. So uh, today I want to talk about uh, a topic on something that I read over the weekend and it's uh, very interesting. So I was reading this article uh, about something that's been going on for quite a while it seems like and it's um, people dumpster diving uh, GameStop trash receptacles for uh, software, hardware, uh, peripherals, um, unused codes. Uh, so I was very uh, intrigued in this because this seems like it could be a very effective thing, as um, if uh, you don't know, there. I'm, I'm sure you would know because one, you're a gamer if you're pretty much listening to this, and two, GameStop uh, is very well known even if you are not a gamer. But like video games, there are quite a bit made every year, and GameStops aren't very big their their shelf it, their shelf space is very valuable and um, usually you just get games that just sit on the uh, the shelves for too long or you get uh, items that aren't selling and you just have to make room for new new updated updated stuff excuse me new uh, room for updated stuff uh, that you're receiving in store so um, Plus, you have to, to consider that not only on top of game releases, you're dealing with people trading in unused or uh, games that they don't use anymore or play anymore, and they just end up not reselling them or can't resell them. So instead of marking them like really, really low, they dispose of them, and they dispose of, of a lot of things. Um, uh, cash, not not cash, cash, but like uh, the PSN cards or the Microsoft points cards or you know stuff like that. Or um, they throw away uh, codes for um, promotional items, like uh, codes that you would find on a lanyard or something like that. They're throwing away software. They throw away controllers, headsets, you name it. They throw it away. They throw away displays, anything that is in store you can expect being thrown away at some point if if it's if it's in the store for too long so um, as I was going through this article there's apparently quite a bit of people on on uh, YouTube that actually do this and uh, it's very interesting I, I watched um, TK's John's film TKS John's film films from YouTube he uh, uh, posted a all right. Quite a big so, loot yeah, supply that he got from first, uh, raiding one of these uh, trash receptacles behind GameStop. And it's very interesting uh, to see and watch the stuff that he was pulling out. Uh, it was over, I think, two two pickups. I think the first, first part of the video was just kind of a, hey, this is what I do, this is how I do it. And then the second one, the, the, the second part of the video was him... Um, showing his best uh, loot haul or his best haul away from from doing this and then at the end he sh he uh, puts in like uh, some of the codes that he found at the end to see if they work and a few of them do and a few of them don't so it's either a hit or miss but as he was going through this stuff it was it was insane to see how many controllers how many uh, games. There was mostly sports games uh, like uh, Madden or uh, NBA 2K. I wouldn't say 2K, but you know, um, NCAA, uh, NFL or um, football, NCAA basketball, 
uh, some NHL games. It was mostly that stuff. But they had, um, I think he, he said he came across to Black Ops 2, or Black Ops, one of the two, which is, you know, uh, high quality or high, um, not high quality, but it, it's a very expensive game, even used. I mean, once Black Ops 2 came out, Black Ops was still like $35 used or $40 used just because of how how much want there was for it or how much um, demand there was for it. So um, he came away with quite a bit of stuff, but it looks like most of the stuff that he was coming across was like controllers and headsets. And, and you can easily sell this stuff on eBay for like, you know, super cheap, but it's still 100% profit because all you did was just... So, great idea, but um, GameStop looks like they're eventually catching on to this and have started the uh, Field Destroy campaign. And the Field Destroy campaign is, um, instead of you know just tossing in the garbage, they have to cut the wires on the controllers, they have to scratch or break the discs, they have to like... Um, Put a sticker over over the uh, codes, or like disable the codes or something like that before they throw them in the uh, in the trash receptacles. And and you come across this in uh, TKS's uh, uh, YouTube video, and and it's a field destroy uh, um, campaign. Not every GameStop does this, but you also if you do plan on doing this then you might want to check into your state laws on dumpster diving because some might be uh, pretty bad. But I think I think if you're planning on doing this, then contacting GameStop might be something you would want to do to get their okay first. Um, you don't want uh, some issues with the law or, or with GameStop in this case. So first off you might want to check the laws second off you might want to uh, contact GameStop and let them know that you're going to do this and third you're gonna have to expect to see like some things cut scratched or broken which is which is extremely sad and I, I think that this is you know a great thing for for people to you know take advantage of um, right now but the problem that I have is that most of these people are like just going to are, are just taking it and reselling it and you know um, completely completely um, I'm completely fine with this which is kind of uh, an interesting standpoint that I have on it because what it what it's going to do is it, it allows people to actually purchase games that they weren't normally going to purchase. So like, let's say that you sell, you, you do this and you come away with, you know, five controllers and you sell them at five bucks a piece and you get $25. So then you have, you know, just one haul, you get $25 and then you do another haul and you get, you know, another $25 and then like all it all adds up and then you eventually start you're gonna use this money most likely you're gonna use this money to to pay for your gaming and what that does is it's gonna take away instead of something that's you know just gonna fill up landfills it's gonna put games into people's homes and then on top of that you're gonna be able to purchase with that money that you've made more games that you probably normally wouldn't buy because you don't have the money for them now you're just like, well, hey, it's not going to cost me anything. All I have to do is just dumpster dive, you know, three times a week and I can get a game. So it kind of adds a little bit more, I don't know, uh, capital inside in, into the gaming industry, which I am completely for. Um, what I am against, though, Welcome, is Mr. GameStop Ryder. destroying the these, these items. Um, scratching, breaking discs, uh, cutting the cords on on controllers. Kind of hard to do now since most of them are wireless, but um, you know, it, it's 
not something that GameStop should be doing. If they're so worried about people jumping into their trash cans and stealing and digging through their garbage and stealing all their items, which isn't really stealing because you're you're saying I no longer want this, I want it to fill the landfills, I want this to fill, you know, I want this to be in a big pile of garbage. But that that that's not that's not how I'm looking at it. How I, I'm looking at it is that you're you're removing stuff that you could be donating. So like supply drop is, is a big campaign that I am fully supporting. I fully support and I I, 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 I you know recommend that you support it if um, if you have a game that you're not gonna be able to sell you just you done with it you don't want it anymore don't throw it away I would highly recommend you donating it to supply drop and supply drop is a company or uh, not a, not a company but it's a, um, a donation to our military um, they get these games and it gives them entertainment overseas and um, so I, I fully support that I fully support our military and I feel that if you're going to destroy a game or throw a game away instead of doing that donate it to somebody who could use it or somebody who would need it um, but supply drop isn't the only donation center I mean orphanages um, daycares uh, just just so many other things that you can that you can donate to I mean there's no reason not to to donate stuff it, I mean, it keeps it out of our garbage it keeps it out of our waste plants and it, it gives people who need this stuff or people who you know could use it and so that's that's my standpoint on this I'm not sure how you guys feel about it um, let me know uh, in the comments below make sure to hit that thumbs up and like the video um, subscribe to my channel and share with my friends I'm sorry share with your friends well they could be my friends too I'll make them my friends if once they uh, start watching uh, you can follow me on Twitter majorpain2587 and you can also send me a uh, PSN friend invite uh, majorpain2587 thank you guys for watching the video and I will catch you on the next one